Welcome back with some breaking news here. We want to take you to North Carolina where you can clearly see there Donald Trump is taking questions from reporters inside a truck. Uh, let's go ahead and listen in. I don't think they'll have to be used. I think we're going to have a big victory. And I think 250 million people in this country are going to be very happy because we're going to bring the country back. We're a nation in decline, very, very serious decline. And we're going to bring our country back. Did you know that Elon Musk was in close contact with President Bush? Did you know about this? Did you know about Elon Musk at all? No, I don't know. Elon, Elon is a great guy. He's one of our geniuses, and we have to protect our geniuses. We have to take care of our geniuses. Okay, there aren't President too many of them. Yes, please. Puerto Rico and apology for what the comedian said. No, I love Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico loves me. I don't know. I don't know anything about a comedian. I just, I love Puerto Rico. Nobody's done more for Puerto Rico than me. I, I took care of them when they had the big hurricanes. And nobody, nobody gets along better with Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rican people than me. They love me and I love them. Go ahead. What do I want? I don't know anything about the comedian. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. Uh, I heard he made a statement, but it was just a statement that he made. He's a comedian. What can I tell you? I know nothing about him. I don't know why he's there. You put comedians up, and uh, I guess he went on earlier in the show. I don't know who he is. Is Steve Bannon going to campaign with you now that he's not I don't know, but I think he's a terrific guy. I think he was treated very unfairly. Mr. President, we've been talking about Democrats chasing. Um, could you imagine any circumstances under which you would, would be defeated but not say that the election was stolen? If it was, uh, if it was a corrupt election, that could happen. But so far, we're doing pretty well. We, uh, they found a lot of smaller things in Pennsylvania, as you know, and I think they've been corrupted and, uh, and taken care of. They were, they were corrupt. They were corrupted, and, uh, but I think it's been taken care of. On that subject, you called, you called, for, you called for law enforcement to investigate. Uh, I was going to say, um, do you anticipate to declare victory on election night? I hope that we're going to declare a victory. I mean, they spend all that money on machines. Paper ballots cost you 8% of what a machine costs, 8%. And uh, it's encrypted paper, it's watermarked paper, it's very secure. Uh, your elections would be over at 10 o'clock, and that's when the... You could announce something and there would be no question. And we're not talking about more money. We're talking about a tiny fraction of the money. Uh, you want paper, ideally. You want one-day voting. And I think it's just very important. You have to have the country and you have to have voter ID. And you, and you have a great election. And you're talking about 8% of the cost. Uh, it's like very sad when you get machines, you pay all that money, and they talk about three days later. I think we're going to have a big enough victory to uh, maybe have it that night. You should always have it, be, you know, every night. If you look at France, 38 million votes. At 10 o'clock in the evening, it was over. All paper ballots, all voter ID, one day voting, and it was over. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. President Trump, you, you, uh, you asked for law enforcement to investigate in Pennsylvania. If they find no evidence of cheating, will you accept the result if you lose? Well, I guess they had uh, quite a few ballots, 2,600 ballots, where the same person was signing right. them. But if they find no evidence of cheating, will you accept the results? Of Pennsylvania, sure. Oh, if they find no evidence of cheating anywhere, I'll accept the results. I hope that's going to be the case. Win, lose, or draw, I hope that's going to be the case. Now, listen, I have to do something. Because Brett Favre is a great guy. He just endorsed me. And he's very important at this moment. I mean, you know, he's got, uh, he's got a little problem for himself. And I thought it was very brave that he came out. And I want to go over and see Brett Favre. We're all going together, I assume. You're going over. I'm going to make a speech. We're going to then try and beat the weather out because we have some bad weather. All right, here. so you're listening to Donald Trump, who is in Green Bay, Wisconsin, inside a truck. He called it a garbage truck. Uh, he went on to say that this is my garbage truck in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden as he takes uh, reporters' questions there. He went on to say that he loves Puerto Rico. He actually said that I took care of them in the wake of Hurricane Maria. Uh, as many of you know, he was his administration was heavily criticized for withholding uh, funding to 
Puerto Rico in the immediate aftermath of that hurricane. Uh, he went on to say he doesn't know the comedian that made the crude jokes at Madison Square Garden. Uh, he feels that Steve Bannon was treated unfairly, and he again brought up the voting issues there in Pennsylvania. While the uh, authorities there tell us there have been some isolated issues that have emerged, but they're pushing back on any uh, suggestion that deliberate efforts are underway to suppress the vote there in Pennsylvania. So you just saw Donald Trump there leaving again in what he called his garbage truck in honor of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So uh, this election uh, is, is just days away now, and we are seeing these last-minute efforts from both candidates.